I'm extremely excited. I texted Coach Schaefer yesterday morning about how excited I was after our first exhibition game. And I was like, this is a brand new team, Coach, and I feel like it's going to be a great season. What time was it when you texted? You didn't get to go, go to sleep because you were so excited? Uh, I later? did go to sleep. I had to get my sleep. <laughs> but it was around 9.45 in the morning, and I texted him. He said the same thing I said. And I went to church with him a few days, a few Sundays back. We were talking about the spirit and the flesh. So me and him have like this inside joke where we're like, is it the spirit or the flesh? <laughs> so I told him I woke up in the spirit this morning. Today's going to be a great day and a great season. What's the adjustment been like for you to, to come in to Mississippi State and and kind of the SEC basketball, the feel that everything has here, that everybody's just kind of on an elite level in the SEC. What's it been like for you? It's been a huge challenge. I mean, being a junior, coming in from a small D1, then going to JUCO, and then coming to the elite conference of all conferences, it's been a huge dramatic change for me. It's been big time change. What, what kind of role did Vic Schaefer play in getting you to Mississippi State? What was so special about him selling Mississippi State to you that, that made you kind of end up here? During my recruitment as a JUCO player, um, I had a lot of assistant coaches recruit me. I had a few head coaches talk to me over the phone. But Coach Schaefer was at two of my games, and you never see head coaches come to your games back to back like he did. He actually canceled one of his assistant coaches' flight just to come watch me play, mm -hmm. which is pretty selfish on his end. But <laughs> as far as him selling Mississippi, Mississippi State, he did a great job on that. As a JUCO player, what's the mindset like? Because you're obviously a first-year player, but you're older than somebody to say when a freshman. How do you handle being here, but also kind of being a leader as well? Um, it's hard sometimes because then again, I am new and I am learning the system. But then again, I have to listen to what Coach Schaefer tells me. He's like, you have to lead, you have to step up. And I'm looking like, I'm trying, but I'm new too. <laughs> so, but it, it has been a huge challenge, but it's been a great role to take on. Well, first of all, I just have to give glory to God for even putting me in this position because, uh, you know, like you said, I did come from humble beginnings. I started on, started as a walk-on, um, and it's funny. I tell some people this story sometimes. Before I came here, before, I knew I was going to be a walk-on, so I was getting myself physically prepared. And I remember running on the track uh, near my home, you know, just trying to get ready to get in shape for whatever was to come. And I just remember praying, Lord, you know, whatever it is you have me do here, I just, I just pray that you use me in whatever way you can. And so. Um, I, I'm just thankful that, uh, again, the Lord has given me this opportunity to just um, have a spirit of excellence about myself and kind of minister to other people by leading through example, um, whether it be my work ethic, whether it be the words that I say or how I encourage someone. It's just as long as His light is shining through me, that's what it's all about. How satisfying is that for you to come as a walk-on and you become a leader on the team, you get significant minutes. Coach Schaefer took a lot of time talking about what you add to the team, regardless of your shoulder or your your classes, he said you had to schedule practice around the classes. How satisfying is that for you to kind of hear your coach say that? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's great. It's really just a testament to God's faithfulness because, you know, his word says, uh, faithful is he that calleth you who also would do it. And, you know, uh, just being a person of faith, I, like I said, before I got my scholarship, I always was believing God that, you know, he would bless me with this opportunity. And once he gave it to me again, it just shows that God is faithful. He'll do what he says he'll do. And I just had to believe that and walk in. And so my mom always taught me was to just walk in love and stay in faith. And that's what I did throughout the whole process of me walking on and just working hard, doing whatever I had to do, and just let God do the rest, and he did, so I'm thankful for that. Really just um, the freshmen uh, coming in, they um, have an energy about them, like every single one of them, and uh, you can tell, like, even when they come in the game, like the chemistry that they, well, that we all have and just the burst of energy that they bring, and I think that's the biggest difference from last year. So. You had to take over a leadership role really last season with a young team. How much do you think you've improved over the last couple of years? And, and now this year, you and Martha really kind of stepped into the leadership role. Um, I say my biggest change is I'm more aggressive. You know, my, my freshman year, I was mostly just a shooter. That was just about all I did. So progressing, like, over my sophomore year and the beginning of this year, I can notice, like, a, a difference in how much I drive to the goal now. And rather than looking to pass more, I look to drive more. So that's probably the biggest change. I know you sort of, sort of answered this question a little bit earlier, but uh, Coach Schaefer said competitiveness in practice. Competitiveness in practice, that's the biggest difference from last year this year. 
how do you feel like that's sort of translated to how you guys are really successful? Yeah, it's it's a big part of us now. Um, and that's something that Coach Schaefer has drilled in us, you know, ever since he got here is to be competitive. And um, going back to the freshmen, like I said, they, the burst of energy that they have and how competitive they are, it rubs off on the rest of us. And uh, it's kind of weird because you would think that the, you know, the upperclassmen, you know, would you know, teach them that, but it's kind of like we're teaching each other that, and uh, it, it really helps. You can see that in practice in game. He makes a, makes it a big point. I mean, he, uh, he feels like if we turn it off, we have no chance of winning. We have, he feel like, feels like if we have more than three, we have no chance of winning from point guard. So, um, us turning the ball over, he's very vocal about that. He doesn't like it at all. Has that, what has that been like to try to, you know, know that you have a very small window of. I mean, it, that's what comes with the position, you know. So it's, it's like it, you shouldn't have three, honestly, to be honest. But I mean, it just comes with the position. You have to deal with it and work through it and practice and take it to the floor. And uh, history has shown uh, the program has had a problem with turnovers mm -hmm. you know, in, in recent years. Uh, now that both you and JJ have the year of experience in the system and know what he expects. Uh, how much more confident did you feel that the turnovers and assists can kind of you know, yeah. maybe even off? Um, yeah, I feel like it, it'll it'll die down. I mean, of course you're going to have times where you're going to turn it over, but like careless turnovers, losing the ball, stuff like that, and, uh, like passes and stuff like that. Uh, if it's getting, to, you know, just different stuff, just reading it, reading it or whatever. But, um, I feel like we're going to limit it less because we're trying to be a running team. So if we run and just give them the balls at the right time, we run our, know our plays, we'll be okay. I'm really excited for this season. Um, our freshmen that have come in, they have been doing so well, and they make us just so much better. So I'm really excited for this season. Martha, you're kind of becoming the face of the program, per se. I mean, you were, in, you were at SEC Media Days, and you and Kendra have kind of taken the leadership role in the team. How much has that changed from maybe your freshman year? You might have come in here maybe a little more shy or – uh, something like that, but now you're having to really step up and be the leader. You know, it's really hard for me because my freshman year I was just kind of like the role rebounder. I really didn't have that much of a role, but Schaefer really wants me to do a little bit of everything, so I'm really trying to embrace that and work on all aspects of my game. How do you build on last season? I mean, you had a great year. You were the Miss Mississippi's Player of the Year, and this year's second team All SEC. How do you build on that? How do you find things to get better at? I know y'all are always wanting to get better or something. So. I think personally, I'm gonna have to improve on my numbers instead of getting like the 12 and 10 last year. I'm gonna try to get 16 and 12 this year, so I'm improve my numbers and also improve on little things like boxing out and stuff like that.